David and David here. Let's talk about how to set up and use AirTags. Before we do, there are a few things that you need. An iPhone or iPod running iOS 14.5 or an iPad running iPad OS 14.5. The Find My app needs to be installed on your device. Your device needs to have Bluetooth turned on and your device needs to be connected to the internet. That can be Wi-Fi or cellular data. Perfect. Let me take this out of the box. I've got my iPhone here. There we go. There we go, nice and easy. If you notice that two of them are missing, it's because I gave a couple of them away, but I haven't set them up on this phone. I actually haven't set them up myself before. Great, let's do it. We're an expert. All right, here we go. Taking one out. So first thing to do is remove the AirTag from that plastic film. If you hold it right next to your iPhone while it's in that film, it's not gonna show up on your iPhone, which is not what you want. Why? Because there's a little tab oh. inside the AirTag that you need to pull out. Be, be very intentional about that. There it is. All right. Yeah, you gotta pull this thing out. Boom. Boom. Roast it. And there it is, right on your iPhone. How about that? Tap next. next. Name AirTag. This one is going to be for my keys. All right. Register your AirTag to your Apple ID. Blur out that. Yeah. David's keys. Setting up. And around and around we and go. And this is really how the process should work. It should be seamless. If it's not, you might have the little plastic tab stuck in your AirTag still. Uh, might yeah. have Bluetooth turned off. Make sure your iPhone is connected to the internet. A couple of minor things. Right. David's keys, they are currently with me. Precision finding. When AirTag is nearby, an arrow will point to its precise location. If you don't see that, why won't you see that, David? This only works for iPhones with the U1 chip. So that's the iPhone 11 series or the iPhone 12 series. Anything earlier than that, you're not gonna have precision finding here. But you can still use the Find My app and find them. Yep. Just not as precisely. Play sound, find your AirTags, find my app, directions and maps. <laughs> if, if Apple Maps can get you there. It's gonna try. Questionable. Questionable. View in the Find My app. All right, you're in 40 to 64 Westfield Way. This is because Apple Maps hasn't updated yeah. with my street, but it's close. Now here you'll see identify found item. If you find somebody else's item with an AirTag, that's where you would tap right there and say, hey, I found somebody else's AirTag. I'm gonna report that and they'll get an alert on their phone. Right, one of the things that I really like about this is that if you tap on devices, it separates all of your Apple devices from all of your items. That makes it easier yep. to deal with because otherwise you'd end up with a whole lot of things theoretically. Next, let's tap on David's keys and show you what this looks like in here. So you have the play sound. So if you don't know where your keys are, in your case, play that sound. Yeah, well, I hear that from a long ways away. Okay. Sounds kind of like a Mario Kart sound. Mm. And then here, mm. and then here the green arrow, that is precise location. And it'll actually walk you right towards where your AirTag is if you have the iPhone 11 or iPhone 12. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, they're here actually. Yeah, they're here. So uh, let's see. There's a, oh, now we're three feet. Wow, how about that? That's yeah, pretty cool. Very cool. Oh, now it's they're here actually. You found them. Good yep. work. Good for us. And you can also play the sound right there. That's... Okay, people are going to complain that the sound is not loud enough. If that's the actual. Well, I mean, if it's far away, like if you left your keys in your car and you went upstairs, you're never going to hear that. There's just absolutely no way, right? So you could rename the item. You can remove the item from here and enable lost mode. Yes. Let's do that. So there's notify when found that'll receive a notification on your iPhone when the location of your AirTag becomes available. There's pairing lock. This item is linked to your Apple ID so no one else can pair to it. They're just, you know, somebody can't just steal your AirTag and send up with their phone and walk away with your nice $29 accessory there. Phone number message, leave a number and message to be displayed for the person who finds this item. So if they find your item, they can easily contact you, say, hey, I found your keys. You right. probably want those. Continue. Enter a phone number in case someone finds your item and wants to contact you. I'll enter David's phone number just in case. Next. Lost mode. Summary. Notify when found. So under summary, we see this feature can only be enabled when you're not in close proximity of this item. Well, that's probably good for users then because they're trying to activate lost mode and their air tags actually not lost, it's right nearby, so. Right, so this item, so yeah, we can't change that right now. Yeah, if you're, if you mean if you're grayed out. I would also say, you know, call me maybe. Call me this maybe. This item has been lost, so call me maybe. Te text me instead. Yeah, activate. Uh-oh, they're in lost mode. Uh-oh. How do we get out of lost mode? I don't know. Oh boy. Turn off lost mode, you just tap on there and turn it off and you get your item back. Easy. Boom. I like it, it's pretty cool. 
So one of the things people are talking about is what is the Bluetooth range of these devices? And Apple doesn't publish a specific number. So anywhere between 30 and 300 feet is a good guess. Like that's not very specific. It's kind of a ballpark. But well, I think we should go test it. We can go test it. Let's do that. Later, later on, we're going to go test that. Yeah. For a list of compatible devices with AirTags, look in the description section below. We've got two links for you that will help you out. But that's how to set up AirTags. Pretty seamless process. If this process wasn't seamless, check out our other video, AirTags not connecting to iPhone, yep. uh, and that'll help you fix the problem. But wait, there's more. David, did you know that over 90% of our viewers are actually in lost mode themselves? Well, how can we recover them? We can recover them by them hitting the subscribe button. That would be great. On our channel. We'd really appreciate that. About 7% of the people who watch our videos subscribe, and we're trying to get to 9%. Yes, that's how to set up AirTags with your iPhone, iPad, or iPod. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below with any of your questions and your thoughts on AirTags. A lot of people are concerned about privacy with AirTags. I think we should do a video on that, We're going to do a video on that as well. Leave a comment down below with any thoughts on that. And once again, thanks for watching.